I'll have this one day, I'll wake up and I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna set a routine, I'm gonna wake up at 6 a.m., I'm gonna go to the gym, and then I'm gonna go to the meeting, and then I'm gonna go grab some lunch, and it's gonna be cool, but then like, I'll do it for two days, and then it's like gone, and I'm back to my ways. I'm like, just not one for routine or like a regimen, like I'm just very young and carefree. I wrote this record like a year or so ago, maybe two years. I had just moved to New York and I was like living life a bit fast. Like I was just kind of always moving and never really taking the time to just like sit down in my crib. Like I was always out and like hella irresponsible. Woke up in an empty apartment. Another night I fell asleep in my shoes. We wanted to have a visual aspect to the record. So we wanted you to see where I was. Waking up in an empty apartment, like obviously I hadn't bought furniture yet. Again, irresponsible. I remember that time just being like getting home, not even taking off my makeup, not taking off my clothes, like not even getting into comfy PJs, coming home at like 2 a.m. and just like knocking out, waking up hella late to whatever I had to do the next morning. It's getting old cause now I do it too often. I'm losing my focus, I'm losing my cool. I'm tired of making up the same excuses, trying to act like everything's okay. You know, I will wake up and be like, oh, I'm so sorry, I forgot. I'm so sorry about last night, I couldn't make it because such and such, and it's like, really, I was just like knocked out because I was hella stupid the night before. Or I'll like completely forget I had something planned for the next day and wake up and be like, oh shit. Or it's like, oh shit, my dog's sick. And it's like, you don't have a dog. I'm like, well. I do today. I'm sending text after text about the shit I regret. Trying to clean up my mess in my. It's stopping, can't stop it. I'm falling down. He running after you, but I can't stop it. So the idea is that I'm always searching for something to kind of stop this crazy and bring some calm to my life. So I'm like always chasing it. You know that I'm young and I'm pretty rude. Just a bad girl with an attitude. I like realized afterwards, like it's not really rude. It's just, it's more like you don't really give a fuck. I guess that is rude. If you catch me on an off day, I'm not even an off day, honestly every day. I just always have some attitude. Ask everyone around me. Sometimes I'm like amazing. Actually all the time I'm amazing. But sometimes I just got some, I got some shade. I got some gossip. I got, I'm hella petty. And that's why my project is called Mint. Cause I always got some shit to say. I always got some shit to talk. I've been laying around, I've been running loose. But I can give it up for you. I've been breaking hearts, I've been breaking rules. Just a bad girl with an attitude. Oh my God, I'm, a Muslim Moroccan 24 year old girl. Like the rules that I've broken are even being a singer, you know, and coming up here and doing my thing. My parents were like, girl, you better go to school. Like, what do you, what, what is this? This is a hobby, keep it a hobby. And I was like, nah, I'm moving to New York, mom. I'm a risk taker. I love breaking rules. I've been hanging around, I've been running loose, but I can give it up for you. In relationships, there's just always this, the one that's kind of crazier than the other, the one that's a little more normal. I think after a while, like the crazy one wants to be a little more normal so that normal one's not always bugging out. In this instance, I'm saying like, I'll give it up for you. I'll give up all this crazy shit with me coming home at like whatever time, sleeping in my shoes, like not knowing what day it is, just, Everything's fucking crazy, you know? Um, I'll give it up for you. Party till I feel like I'm useless. Another night that I'm gonna try to forget. I'm always acting like I'm here for this bullshit. I'm losing my focus all over again. I get so excited, do my hair, do my makeup, whatever, go to a party, and then I get there and I'm like, wait, why did I leave my apartment? Why am I out of my house? I just always question it. I'm like, I'm not even here for this. Like, I don't even fuck with this shit. I probably drink a little more for no reason. I probably say a couple things I ain't meaning. I'm going round after round, and it's breaking me down, trying to figure it out in my. I feel like when I'm in an environment where like I'm uncomfortable or like just kind of over it, I like try to just like fix it by talking a lot. I have the things. You say, you're like, damn, why did I tell her that? Sometimes I tell people like, 
I got my couch for like half off and like I could just let them think that it was like full price. Why did I tell them that, that I found it on some app? You don't need to tell people that. But that's the type of shit I'll say when I'm like uncomfortable and bored. I'll be like, yeah, I got my couch for half off. I hope not many. Um, wow, that's a good one. How many hearts have I broken that I know of? I feel like I've probably broken like four hearts. A nice solid four.